I'm trying to pin this comment. There we go. What's up, man? Hey, what's up, y'all? This Rockstar. I'm, I'm about to break down the story. Because I talked to everybody I supposed to talk to. Now, you know, when I, t- when I talked to Lil J, he really can't tell me really what's going on because of the case and shit like that. But the case is closed. And people got their time. So, hell yeah, I seen an FBG um, butter interview. Look, that interview was wild. And I supposed to do an interview, too, with Status Update to, you know, put out my side and my story and, you know, what I know. And, you know, the, the shit was sad, man, because there's real paperwork out. You know, no one has time to to make um, seven pages about him that's fake. We don't got time for that. But this live is about to tell you what I think really happened. So I'm going to break it all down. This is like, I'm not biased. If my cousin wrong, he wrong. So I'm going to tell you what really happened, y'all. So what really happened was, is I guess it was Little J, Butter, the guy who died. Now, the guy who died... Um, from California, his name was Blood. Now, the sad part about everything is he met Blood from me because it was a producer named Heron. Now, the producer Heron, that's his cousin. And I knew Heron for a couple years, and I introduced Lil J to Heron. So, you know, he wasn't like a Chicago guy. He wasn't, you know, he ended up getting real close. And he was a loyal guy, man. But I'm going to tell you what happened. So what happened was it was Lil J, it was Butter, it was the guy Blood, and there was some chicks in the car. Now, they went, to go back, they went to go buy some weed in Calumet City. And um, they went to buy an ounce. So look, all this shit happened over an ounce of weed, y'all. I'm feeling like this is, this is some real shit. All of this shit happened over an ounce of weed. So, what happened was, um, they went to go buy the weed. I don't know who called the guy who got shot, who survived. I don't know who called him. Maybe Lil J called him and was like, yo, I'm finna grab some weed, ooh, 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 finna pull up. But what happened was, in my opinion, and, you know, this is pretty much what happened to me. They went to go buy a fucking... They went to go grab an ounce of weed. The dude who survived the shooting. And sh- real talk, I don't know if they had beef with my cousin. I don't know if they weren't seeing eye to eye. But salute to Buddy for keeping the shit in the streets. Because I swear to God, if he would have um, participated with the police and um, helped them and shit, Lil J would have been cooked. They would have cooked his ass. But, the, but since he did not cooperate... The police didn't have shit to really do. So I'm going to tell you what really happened. So what happened was it was Butter, it was Lil J, it was some bitches, and it was the nigga who died, Blood, R.I.P. Blood. They went to Calumet City to grab some weed. When they went to go grab the weed, when they went to go grab the weed, Lil J was in the car. Lil J was in the car with, um, with the women. So... Think about that. This is this is this is Lil J. He the big guy. Why would he hop out the car type shit? So he was in the car, and Blood and Butter hopped out the car. In my opinion, to go get the weed. They went to get the weed. The nigga who had the gun. See, I thought Butter had the gun. I'm almost. I, I could have sworn he was a shooter. But when you watch the interview of um, the Zach TV interview of the guy who got shot and survived. He was like real, he was pressing the issue on like Lil J Bogus for that. So I was under impression that he felt like Lil J set him up. Did you hear what I'm saying? So Lil J, in my opinion, probably called dude to buy some fucking weed and have Butter and, and I guess Butter know who dude is too. And I, I, I think the gang, I think the gang know who dude is too. Maybe he was one of the guys, you know what I'm saying? But probably not close, but he was one of the guys, like friend of a friend. And that's probably why FBG and them niggas probably didn't like that shit. Because it's like, damn, how you going to snake this nigga? And we know this nigga type shit. Maybe. But this is what happened. Lil J and them niggas pulled up. 
butter and blood. Hopped out the car, do the transaction. I guess niggas tried to rob his ass for the ounce. All this over robbing a nigga for an ounce. $200 worth of weed type shit. And I don't know if Lil J didn't fuck with dude and he just wanted to hoe his ass. I don't know. So, I guess he, tr- the guy who died pulled up it on him to take his weed and the nigga wasn't going. He upped his shit and clapped blood. R.I.P. blood. Good dude. Like, help Lil J a lot of times. Clap blood. And when... Um, no, nah, blood, no, nah, blood put his gun out. He shot blood, then blood shot him. And then niggas got out the jam. And what happened was, when niggas got out the jam, um, I guess Lil J went back in the house. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, went back in the car. Motherfuckers left. Motherfuckers tried to get the guns out the house. All that extra shit. But at the end of the day, Butter knew that he was outside of that fucking car. Butter knew that he was um butter knew that he seen everything basically and the police in my opinion intimidated this nigga basically and was lying to him like yeah if you don't say this if you don't say that so he pretty much said that it was little jay's idea so little jay got locked up because motherfucker said he was the mastermind over the whole thing so little jay is locked up for hitting up a nigga for some weed, sitting in the car, two of his homies go out to get the weed, shit went bad, um, police get involved, motherfuckers in the hospital, niggas get nervous before they even put the jumpsuit on. Niggas is getting nervous, niggas is cooperating, because you got to think about that. That screenshot of him with the pen in the picture, that's not a picture. It came from a video. So the video didn't even come out yet. We, the paperwork's out. The video didn't even come out yet. So when the, if the video dropped, then, you know, who knows what his nose. But that's what really happened, bro. All this over weed. You're talking about niggas' reputation. You're talking about... You're talking about millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? All over $200 worth of weed. So I'm going to repeat this story one more time. And tell me if it makes sense. Little J, in my opinion, I don't know. And he was on probation. Called the nigga from Calumet City for the weed. They go there to get the weed. Little J still in the car with the bitches. You know what I'm saying? Butter and the nigga and, uh, and blood. Heron cousin who died. R.I.P. to Heron. I mean, R.I.P. to blood. Hopped out the car to go do the transaction. Shit went bad. Um, I guess um, Blood probably tried to rob him or they tried to rob the rob Buddy ass. Buddy ass had it on him. Up it, start shooting at Blood. Blood got popped. Blood popped him. Niggas ran. Butter, I guess he wasn't a shooter. Because if he was a shooter doing the Zach TV interview, he would have said something like that. Or maybe he didn't say it because the investigation was still on. But to me, it sounds like Butter basically cooperated because... He didn't want to do time for just basically being there. So it's self-preservation. Basically. The, the, nigga, the nigga wanted to preserve his life. But what I'm saying is you got to wear that shit. I, I don't give a damn if you want to live your life, whatever. Just, just wear that shit because you, you don't want to live in a lie. You know what I'm saying? Be an honest man and say, you know what? I fucked up. I was nervous. You know, I got kids, you know what I'm saying? I didn't want to, you know, if, if he would have came out of jail and said, you know what, man, I did do this, I did do that. You know, motherfuckers would have respect that, wouldn't trust his ass, but would have respect it. But when you got to lie and edit handwritten paperwork and all this extra shit, you look like somebody that should have never been trusted from the beginning. So I'm getting the fuck up off of here because I'm in Chicago and it's hot as hell. And uh, I just want to tell that story. So if, if an interview happens, it happens. But I just want to say that shit. All this shit over $200 for weed. Think about that shit.